hope the second story is going to get me um, in trouble or not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it, I don't know if this is going to get this video like shut down and removed from all of the fucking platforms because it's dealing with a sensitive subject. It's going to deal with a sensitive subject, folks. Uh, so a lot of, um, a lot of right wing news sources, when you bring up, um, you know, any sort of socialist ideology, any sort of, uh, or, or even use that word in a sense, um, they're like, well, the Nazis were socialists. The Nazis were socialists. You know, what are you, you going to do about that? Huh? Fucking, they were, so that's what they were. There you go. Is that what you want? Do you hate Jews? There you go. Socialism is bad. Proved it. Failed it. Argument's over. Just won it. Uh, yeah, it's all wrong. Uh, <laughs> End of video. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so let's look at that, right? Uh, the, the Nazis were, was originally called the National Socialist German Worker Party. And what they did was uh, they substituted uh, the class war that Marx was describing uh, with, the, with, the, with the race war. They, they didn't look at uh, class struggles, but rather racial struggles. Um, ethnocentric struggles, they replaced all of those things. So they basically said the German worker, um, the reason why they're going through all this hardship is because of the other is sort of what they did, right? Uh, it's because the Jews, the gypsies, the gays, the blacks, all these other groups, they were really causing the problem that, that, the, that the class, it's, it's not class war, it's an ethnocentric problem, it's a race problem, it's this. It's so, but really, it was a class problem. And, and class problems transcend um, all of these other because because all of those problems funnel into a, a class problem, right? Like uh, like the issue of race falls into class problems. The issue of uh, LGBTQ discrimination falls into a class problem. If you if you have a shit ton of money, you know, then it's not really that big of a deal. Like you know, Nick Hanauer, who I who I like very much, I, I like a lot of the things that he says, but he's a billionaire. And he's gay, and I'm pretty sure, like, he, because he's a billionaire and because we have this religiosity around money in our society, that he, there's, there's no problem for him to, like, you know, get a seat at a restaurant or something. Um, same thing if it was, like, a super rich black person or something like that, right? They kind of, like, they champion that, that sort of narrative, that very, like, mainstream money-driven narrative and uh and it and there and people are willing to, to subvert their identity but on on this level on a on a working class level uh that's not the case because you do see cases where um there are uh, people from the minority community uh, black people brown people women lgbtq that that have gone through uh discrimination and the way that we fought back with that is by one call it saying that what they're doing is wrong but also having um, uh, legislation put into place. Like if you have to put a legislation into place that you can't uh, not hire somebody or or fire somebody based on their identity, uh, then yeah, it's 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 a problem. Um, and and this race war ideology that that uh, that the, the Nazis believed in, that Hitler was believing in too, is more aligned with with what J. Edgar Hoover of the FBI believed in the 60s than it is with any socialist party, period. Like, even the right-wing socialist parties didn't believe this race war aspect of it. Uh, you know, so the reason why they did it, the re because it's an easy point of control. It's an easy point of control for them because um, after World War One, there was a lot of German soldiers are not just German soldiers, but just German people that were suffering, and uniting them around a common enemy, the common enemy being the other, um, it was, was, it, it builds up political fervor, and it, and it brings everybody under one banner, um, and it's easy for, easier for, uh, you know, uh, any sort of authoritarian to, to control you, so, you know, 
that's something that people should keep an eye out for when there is a call to go against the other um, during any sort of like economic crisis. So in this current moment, if 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 you hear politicians, if you hear any sort of leaders start making um, statements of blame to a specific group of people, yeah, don't fall for it. Stay on task. This is, you know, um, here's more proof. 1933, uh, they banned the Communist Party and the Social Democrats in Germany. And then they co-opted their titles to appear as if they were class centric. That's what they did. That's what they that's what they wanted. To, they they co-opted the title. This was a, this was what the Nazis were. They would do, um, you know. And they probably took the took the title uh, so that they could ally themselves with another uh, powerful leader, Russia, Stalin. Stalin was right there, and it's better to be allied with that guy at that time than it was to make him an enemy. And once. Once he was made the enemy, that was sort of the fall that started to decline, right? Like they they were not able to push through into Russia. Uh, Hitler was also against trade unions. He wouldn't give like when when the princes' homes and stuff, the German princes' homes and stuff were taken, uh, you know, take taken over. They, he didn't give them back to the people in claims that oh, it's too communist. Uh, the Night of the Long Knives, he killed pro-worker members of his own party. So these are not socialist ideologies. He just used he just used that term because he was perverting the thought. That's what they did. That was actually um, something that they specifically did. So uh, their symbol, the swastika, is is an is an Indian symbol um, turned on its axis to pervert its meaning. That was actually something that they said they were they did. Uh, the swastik is a Hindu symbol, and it's a Hindu symbol of uh, of of Ganesh. And, you know, it's supposed to. Uh, I think it's supposed to indicate l- uh, literacy, knowledge, curiosity, and something else. There's four different parts to it, right? And so that so they tilted their non's axis and got rid of the four dots so that they can make the symbol their own, and they perverted the. Um, the symbol of Eastern knowledge, Eastern wisdom, essentially. And, and they did that shit on purpose. You know, they, they were looking at, at, at trying to strengthen their own brand by trying to use something familiar. They did that shit all the time. Um, and what, they're, what, they're, what they did with uh, the term socialism is, um, is no different than that. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to use that as your, as your excuse of, not supporting something that's labeled socialist, um, you're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be making daily videos, so make sure you come back to this channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh, because we are going to be putting up videos every single day, uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to um, g- creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, do, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate that's r-a-m-a-n noodlescomedy.com slash donate there you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons patreon bandcamp and even paypal uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned paypal venmo cash app 
uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing and that's if you have the means to do it I understand that we're all struggling through this time uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free and like I said will be up every single day and a huge way that you can help uh, is by sharing these out uh, hit it hit it up on your social feeds on, on the on the Twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the Instagrams and the Facebooks just share it around tell it tell as many people as you possibly can uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel and once again make sure that you are subscribed you hit that like button um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel thank you guys so much uh, I, I, and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um, or has donated uh, thank you so much it really really means a lot and it helps every little tiny bit helps in uh, in, 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 the, in this time of, of need so uh, be good to each other stay safe out there and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos